Hi guys and welcome to another video. So this video is spontaneous. Somebody in the comments down below said um, if I could show more of my autoclave from the previous video that I did showing what's in my clinical storage cupboard. So this video is showing you guys my autoclave. If you guys do like this video, please do hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't and also put a comment down below and I hope you enjoy this video. Right, so this is my autoclave. I purchased it from MDS Medical. Um, it's an 8 litre autoclave. I pay monthly for this, so um, that includes servicing every year and also any call, out, call outs which I may need. I haven't really had any of those yet, but um, after three years it actually belongs to me. So that is an option when it comes to buying autoclaves or you can just buy it outright if you have that money right so to turn it on there's just a switch here really simple and it just warms it up and then it's ready for use it's that simple at the top there's this area which you will put your water in for the autoclave i'll just show you inside it so that's what it looks like inside you just top it up with the water that you have distilled water and I'm just going to open it up for you and show you inside. So I kind of showed you this in my other video. It's really not a lot to show you apart from, you know, it's got shelves. If you can see, that's how long the shelf is. The same size as the bags that I use. So I'll just show you a bag. So that's a bag of my instruments there. Um, and so it's about the same length as this. So it is a vacuum autoclave, so you can use these bags in there. Not all, not all autoclaves do that, so I like this one for that reason, and that's one of the reasons that I purchased it. You can actually take all of this out. Now, with autoclaves, you have to empty the dirty water. Just here, try and zoom in, there's a wastewater outlet, and then there's the clean water outlet, so if you don't remove the wastewater it can overflow and start leaking that's from my experience and then you want to just you know em if you want to empty your autoclave of the water clean what you can just empty it here so here's the hose all you do literally is you put it in there you press it really hard and then the water should come out now obviously you want to make sure that you've got something to catch the water in and then i just put it down the toilet <laughs> the dirty water down the toilet and yeah guys to be honest that is it i can't think of anything else to show you um i guess i could show you guys the screen so this is the screen that comes up it shows you the amount of cycles that you've done so as you can see i've done 105 cycles and i've put it on 134 celsius porous there are options you can have it on solid as well that's when you put instruments in there that aren't in the autoclave bag uh, pouch so I always make sure it is on porous so that my bags don't go all soggy it has the dates and everything else and over here let me try and get the lighting back so over here is where the printout comes out so it's flashing uh, green there because I don't have any paper in there left but that's fine because in here oh I've got to show you guys that I'll show you that in a minute because in here is where are we? Is this? So you can actually just download it onto this, all the recordings onto here. So that saves paper. So this also comes with the autoclave as well. All this is is when you want to take out the instruments because it can get pretty hot. Um, so yeah, that's all that came with it. Um, the paper rolls that I was so the paper rolls look like this you can just repurchase more and that's it really that's my autoclave I can't think of anything else to show you guys about it apart from it's a really good autoclave and it is definitely worth the money right so I hope this video has helped you in whatever way it can <laughs> looking at my autoclave um, if it has then please do hit that like button and let me know in the comments down below what you think of my autoclave um, and yeah I'll see you guys in my next video bye bye <laughs>